All right, this is that tonight cookie here, bringing you a Black Ops 3, um, Nuketown gameplay. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to do all the PlayStation streaming, but my mic broke, so I can't do the PlayStation streaming. And so now I gotta just do the Xbox. So check out my friend, YNS Cookie. He's made some videos on Battlefield and all that. I'll talk about that stuff and so Black Ops 3 what they did they actually did something pretty cool the other day for supply drops like you I mean yeah for supply drops if you had the season pass you'd get 10 free rare supply drops and you would get one uh, I don't know what to call it what well, black market weapon supply drop I got I got the butterfly knife out of it so yeah that was mine so we're loading up kill confirmed game right here it's double crypto key weekend if you didn't realize or if you haven't been on black ops and so it's a little easier to earn crypto keys I think one weekend they should just do double like everything double crypto keys double liquid divinium XP weapon XP and all that that'd be pretty cool so when you load in this game, we do okay. I think we went like 14 and 17 or something like that. I don't know. Teammates were getting all like my kill confirms. Right there, we get a nice little kill. And another one. I think I die around here. Alright, so back to like the Call of Duty stuff. Um, Call of Duty is kind of dying. If you guys haven't, um, you guys didn't see the Infinite Warfare video, the trailer. I think it has like 700,000 dislikes, and that's pretty bad. That's like the most disliked gaming video out there on YouTube. And the Battlefield One, uh, I think it's like a, I don't know how many dislikes. I don't know. I don't really play Battlefield that much. But the, I know that Infinite Warfare has a ton just like. And I think the Battlefield 1 has more views than the Infinite Warfare 1. And it came out like a couple days ago and the Infinite Warfare came out like a week or two ago. So, so that means Call of Duty is not really making good games anymore. I mean, you guys saw... What Ghost? Ghost was okay on the XX One. Black Ops Three is okay, but Advanced Warfare was awful. I haven't played a game that bad. I don't think I've ever played a game that bad. War that War was better than Advanced Warfare by far. Even with all the hacks online, still better. So what this means is Call of Duty is probably near the end of the road for making games. That's something you guys probably don't want to hear. Unless they could step it up. Like MW3 or MW2. I mean, those games were great games. So, yeah. I don't really know why they're making these games so bad. Battlefield, their games get better and better every year. So, let me know what you guys think about Battlefield versus... Call of Duty and which one would you say is better, Battlefield 1 or Infinite Warfare? Because Battlefield 1 is the new Battlefield coming out. You guys didn't know. And let me know what kind of games you guys want. So let's get into Battlefield. So Battlefield 1. Like, have you guys ever played uh, Battlefield 4 on the Xbox One? It's so fun. There's all like the destruction. The games are like kind of long, but you can get a lot of kills. It's kind of hard to level up, but it's way more realistic. Like I had Battlefield 2 Bad Company and Battlefield 3 on the Xbox 360, and I just never got. And I had Battlefield Hardline, and Battlefield 4 for a little while, and then I just didn't feel like renewing the EA Access. I had those games, and they were pretty fun. The only thing about the ones on the 360 were like the graphics were actually great for the 360. So, yeah. Um, but the one thing I had to say is 
Um, Battlefield 4. I'm pretty sure on every map, or close to every map, there was like a destruction point. Like there was one where like you can knock down this tower. It was pretty cool. There was one where you can, um, you can like destroy this thing and I think a tsunami would happen. I'm not sure I, did, I didn't have it. I, I would play it at my friend's house and he would show me like, show me a video and all that about it. It's pretty cool. And I'll probably get Battlefield 1 over Call of Duty. Because everyone's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get Call of Duty, but 700,000 dislikes seems a pretty bad game. And everyone's like, oh, Black Ops 2 had a lot of dislikes, and do you see how good it was? Well, Black Ops 2 kind of sucked. It was like, there were so many overpowered weapons. The thing that they had to do in the next Call of Duties, and I don't know about Infinite Warfare because I, I didn't even look into it, but they should calm, like, calm down about the EXO stuff because it sucks. It's so unrealistic. I mean, yeah, you're making the game in the future, but how do you guys know that there's going to be exosuits? They don't. They're just making all this stuff up. And... Talk, and GTA 5 they have to like for GTA 5 they should have to bring in a huge update like more heist and more cars and all that I mean they they had to do stuff too so let me know down below how you guys feel about Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare I mean I, I'll probably get um Battlefield, and if you guys didn't know, I am playing on the Xbox. If you guys haven't realized, and um, so Mafia 3 that came it's coming out in 2016, but I don't know when. They've had a couple trailers, they've had some gameplays. You can look it up if you want. It's supposed to be set in New Orleans, uh, I think it's around like uh, I can't remember, like the 60s and 70s. I think it's actually pretty cool looking. I, I wonder if there's gonna be like gangs and all that. Cause like New Orleans isn't that nice. <laughs> it's not a nice part of the world. It's known for like gangs and all that. So Mafia Three. I hope the story's gonna be like um, Mafia Two. I think you get to play as um this African American guy from. New Orleans, I'm not sure, because I saw in the trailer that it was like an African-American guy. The trailer's pretty packed with some cool information, and right here, we go up in the room, the game's pretty much over in this one right here, so yeah, we, we end up getting the assist for that, get the kill confirmed, so back to Mafia 3, um, I mean, I think they're both coming out. Let's see, uh, I would probably pre-order Battlefield, and then probably just get Mafia 3 when it comes out, I don't know, unless I'll pre-order both, I don't know, because I don't want Call of Duty, unless it's good, because that's what I did with Advanced Warfare, I didn't pre-order it, and I got it, and it was, everyone was like, oh, it's so good, I got it for, what's it called, um, Christmas and everyone was like, "Oh, it's so good!" And then I played it and it was ass, complete ass. I haven't played a game that bad. I don't even know how long. And right here, we end up losing. We went 17-21. It's not that bad. I mean, was that my first game in like a week playing Call of Duty? So it's not that bad. The other day I went like 59, 38, like four straight games. Was, yeah. Um. So, let me know what games you guys want to see on this channel. Especially, um, I have NHL, Star Wars Battlefront, Ark Survival Evolved, GTA 5. I have Madden, but I don't really play it because it's kind of boring now. Black Ops 3, and... That's about it, and I have I'm gonna be the show 16, but I can't really stream without a mic because it can be boring if there's no one talking to you for like an hour. 
So yeah, let me.